Hey guys, Just Ravage Joe here. Um, I'm here to do a quick trailer reaction to King Kong vs. Godzilla or Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, and uh, this look, the trailer dropped a couple of days ago, but I thought it would be cool to wait till today. Uh, today's the actual two month mark before the movie is released in HBO Max and in theaters we're open. And uh, I just wanted to do a quick reaction for you guys. And uh, that's it. Let's get on it. This is our only chance. We have to take it. Now remember, this is the, the first time we're seeing him since Kong Skull Island. And it's said that in that movie he was a young he was younger. So he's much bigger in this film. If anybody's wondering why he's so big. That's what she said. She's the only one he'll communicate with. I knew that they had a bond. She had nowhere to go, so I made a promise to protect her. And I think that in some way that's a cool, that's a cool shot. It shows you. It actually shows you more of a scale of his size of how big he is. She's like a quarter of the size of his fingernail. And we get Godzilla causing some havoc here. Kong looking a little worried there. It's Godzilla. Cue the music. Very Pacific Rim kind of, you know. Although I kind of, I actually do like it though. Some people don't, but I actually kind of like the music in this trailer. Is John McClane jumping off the roof? These are dangerous times. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. There's something provoking him that we're not seeing here. We've got these characters coming in over from uh, Godzilla King of Monsters. There was a war. They're the last one standing. I keep reaching for greatness because I'm built from it. Who bows to who? Nobody gonna stop the main. Here we go. Kong bows to no one. There's a cool shot. I mean, I'm ready. I don't know who else is ready. Just take my money, basically. Look, I was hyped to see this film. Uh, it wasn't crazy about Godzilla King of Monsters, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, I did enjoy, uh, I enjoyed Godzilla 2014. Uh, I just wish he was in it a little bit more, as as did everybody. But for the most part, I really did enjoy that film a lot. Uh, Godzilla King of Monsters, we got more monsters, but the story lacked a little bit. And uh, Skull Island was great. You know, I mean, that was the first time we've seen an updated version of Kong since 2005's uh, uh, Peter Jackson's uh, uh, King Kong which was a remake of, you know, the original movies. But I was hyped to see this film ever since it was, you know, basically said that this this was going to happen. These these movies were leading up to this. Uh, but I got to say, this trailer just put me at that next level. I really do enjoy this trailer. I've seen it so many different times. I've watched so many different breakdowns, um, which I'm not going to really go over. I really don't want to do too much of that. But I will say, um, if I had to do a quick synopsis of my own, and uh, this is really not coming from outside sources. I mean, no, I don't know any sources, but I'm saying like anything that I've seen on the internet really didn't make me think of this. I really think that 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 is really that really isn't Godzilla that we're seeing. Uh, or if it is Godzilla, what he's doing, he's being provoked or agitated by Monarch in some type of way. Whether it's the Orca machine from uh, Godzilla King of Monsters that they're using to kind of like mess with him. Or I think Monarch... Or Apex, I know there's two different uh, there's two different companies I think in this film, uh, but that are at play. I think they used from the uh, end credit scene in Godzilla King of Monsters. I think they somehow used or harnessed whatever they needed from the the Ghidorah head that they found, and they used that. And I think they I think they constructed organic type of skin to cover what we are going to uh, find out as, uh, to, you know, to become Mechagodzilla. Um, you know, in the original Japanese versions of uh, Kong versus Mechagodzilla, he was, he looked 
it looked exactly like Godzilla, you know, the skin and everything. It wasn't until they started battling that it started to chip away and you saw that it was a robot that was built by, um, I think it, well, I think that version was built by humans and then there was other renditions that were built by uh, aliens. So either they're going to show us Mechagodzilla just straight up and it was gonna, it's going to be Monarch's way to combat or battle these Titans or they're going to do it in a more of a deceptive way, cover up their tracks and make it as if it's really Godzilla to kind of like... So that's their excuse to bring King Kong over. Who knows? I really think that that's what it's about. I really don't think King Kong is going to actually fight the actual Godzilla um, to an epic battle. I think there might be a confrontation between the, the the two, but I think the actual battle might be between Godzilla and Kong versus Mecha Godzilla and maybe some other Titans that we don't know because I think we're going to see more Titans as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm very hyped for this film. I, I dug the music. I know people thought it was cheesy or well, uh, out of place, but I really did like it. It actually made the trailer even a little bit more hype. Um, that scene where he's got that battle axe, which everybody seems to assume is made from one of, uh, Godzilla's back plates, which is, I think that's cool. If that was from either, uh, past previous battles from, you know, from ancient history, um, that he either finds in the, uh, the underground world that they're talking about or uh, between a battle earlier in the movie that King Kong kind of like rips it off Godzilla's back and then he constructs a uh, battle axe from it. But that one shot, I don't know if they're in Tokyo. I have no idea where all the neon lights uh, where he's kind of like, and it's already, you can already see it before Godzilla even shoots his atomic breath. It's already kind of radiating blue. So I don't know if he charges it up with like electricity or Kong does something before he go, you know he goes and confronts a uh, uh, Godzilla, but you as he's jumping, he kind of like turns it in a way where that plate is just deflecting Godzilla's atomic breath the whole time until he comes down and then he lays the boom down with the with the almost like a hammer. Um, but yeah, I thought that scene was cool. It had uh it had some very uh very Pacific Rim kind of feel and also had I had like a rampage almost kind of feel as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, so again, we're two months away from this film. I would love to see this film in IMAX in the theaters. Unfortunately, I'm from New York. So most of the theaters, if not, well, actually all the theaters by me are closed at the at the moment. So who knows if the situation will clear up in the couple of months to come. Uh, I hope so, because I would really love to see this in the theater. But again, if if not, I get to see it on HBO Max the day it's released, so I'm happy about that. But uh, look, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I am definitely Team Godzilla. I remember watching the the old American dub Japanese versions when I was younger. You know, with uh, you know King Kong and all. You know, Mothra, uh, Rodan, Ghidorah, uh, Mecha Godzilla, King Kong, uh, even little Godzuki. You know, little King Kong's uh, not King Kong uh, Godzilla's uh, I guess son. If that's if it's a boy, I think it is. Um, I think Godzilla is supposed to be a girl. Um, I did also, unfortunately, see the 1998's Godzilla, which I was not a happy, uh, which I was not a fan of. I wasn't a fan of the design. I wasn't a fan of the movie. I just thought it sucked overall. So when the you know when the 2014 film came out, I was uh, I was excited, and I think they did a wonderful job. They really did. But you know, and, and King Kong too. Don't get me wrong. I I do love King Kong. Uh, I obviously I've seen the classic. Uh, 30s film with uh, Fay Ray. I I saw the remake in the 70s. Well, I didn't see it in the 70s, but the 70s remake with Jeff Bridges, um, where uh, King Kong is now on the Twin Towers, and then actually did a sequel to that film, uh, or to King Kong in general, King Kong Lives in 1986, or either 85 or 86. I want to say 86. Um, that uh, I actually own. That's with Linda Hamilton. And I have that on DVD. I enjoyed it when I was younger. I, I tried revisiting it a few years ago. It's not; as, it didn't hold up. Uh, but I, you know, so I do. And of course, 2005's uh, King Kong as well. I thought the uh, the way they the way they remade the they way they remade that with the with the CGI and the special effects. It was just a gorgeous film. It really. I mean, it was long, but it was a gorgeous film. So I did. I also did enjoy that film as well. You know, and then of course, building that up to uh, Kong Skull Island now. You know, and uh, there, this new updated version within this now within this, uh, you know, monarch and within this uh, film. Uh, well, I guess it's within this trilogy, but it's part of this universe. And uh, yeah, so seeing all these films and now getting to the culmination of uh, Godzilla versus Kong, 
I couldn't be more hyped. And I, but the question is though, what do you guys think? Did you guys enjoy this trailer? Are you more hyped now? Are you basically taking all the money out of your pocket and say, you know what? I don't care. Uh, do what you want with my money. But, or uh, were you upset? Did you, was this trailer a miss? Do you not want to see the movie? You know, did you like the previous films? Let me know all that in the comments uh, below. Guys, also don't forget to hit the like button for the stream. And if you want to subscribe, please do so. Um, obviously, the more the merrier for me. And uh, look, I do a lot of, uh, I, I either do trailer reactions, I do reactions or reviews to TV series I like, uh, The Mandalorian, um, you know, Cobra Kai, uh, stuff like that I've done previously, uh, DC, Marvel, those movies, MCU, I've been doing WandaVision, trail, uh, WandaVision episode uh, reactions as well weekly. So if you guys are into stuff like that, entertainment wise, uh, and all of that, or anything of that nature, please subscribe, you know, for future content. And, uh, I, I would greatly appreciate that, but, uh, guys, enjoy your day. Hopefully you like this trailer reaction. I'm really excited for King Kong versus Godzilla, or I keep saying those two flipped and I'm a Godzilla fan. Godzilla versus King Kong. Let me know what you guys think. And let me go, let me know if, uh, you're as hyped as I am.